Hey coach, on this film breakdown, I'm gonna go over Nate Oates of University of Alabama's drive in space offense, whether it be out of the four out one in or the five out that he employs and how he upset the Tennessee Volunteers. We're gonna show you what he did to exploit Tennessee's switching defense. Hello, I'm Mark Hart of System Basketball. I make film breakdowns, online courses, and eBooks, as well as host virtual online clinics for coaches around the world to help with their personal development. Alabama advances the ball up the court quickly. Do not get anything out of transaction. So they're going to reverse the basketball, space out, and now run an entry action, baseline screen into a step up ghost action. Next play here, Alabama's going to run another entry for you. Going to run a pin down into a ghost screen. We have ram action into a flat ball screen with roll and replace. Did not get the action great. They denied the play. They exchange, beat the bad closeout, and one finish. Here we look at Alabama flowing in transition. They set a drag ball screen, hit the roller. Roller makes a nice read for an open shot. Here they run a wing ball screen with the slip. Great defense with the contest. Alabama flows in transition, retreats, gets their spacing in their drive and space offense, penetrate middle, kick, plays paint to great with the punch out spray. This clip shows great defensive play and how Alabama gets out in transition and runs to the deep corners and hits them for an open three. Here's another push off of the miss, kick ahead, shallow cut, retreat dribble to get to the drive and space offense, their space, middle penetration, kick up, plays off two feet. Here Alabama uses ball screens to take advantage of Tennessee's switching Gets in the paint, draws the help. On this clip, Alabama really did a great job in this game of taking advantage of Tennessee's switches. So they do a ball screen, gets his switch, kind of gets him to commit. He tacks that top foot and makes a nice inside hand scoop finish. Now let's watch it at full speed for you. Here Alabama gets to their drive and space spots in their dribble drive motion offense here and the post is going to set a ball screen again knowing that they're switching it gets the point guard gets the gets the defender who he wants on the point guard and now takes advantage of the mismatch and another layup. Here Alabama uses a a blur cut gets their switch now they now they dump it into the post to take advantage of the switch. Now we're going to look at some isolation situations that Alabama employed in this game to take advantage of the poor defender. Alabama's getting in their driving space spots here. They're going, they're going to go five out and just let their guy pick on the poor defender. Here Alabama is in their driving space. They go ball screen, get the switch. They do not help the helper, so they get a dump off. Okay, now let's take a peek at the box score of the game, Alabama versus Tennessee here. And first thing that jumps off 
my eyes is Alabama went 10 for 20 from the three-point line. So they shot 50%. So they were 1.50 points per possession in this game from the three-point line. And they went, they only shot 38% from the two, but overall points per possession was 0.96. I thought Alabama did a great job of attacking the switch of Tennessee in this game. Nate Oates is starting to put it together there at Alabama. Players look like they're really starting to adjust to the flow and the pace in his driving space, whether he's going four out, one in, or five out. They're going to beat some people this year. They've already got one upset in the SEC. So, guys, be on the lookout for Nate Oates and his driving space offense. Hey, Coach, thanks for joining me on this film breakdown of Nate Oates of University of Alabama's upset win over the Tennessee Volunteers. Hope you found some great value. If you did, please think about subscribing to my channel so that, so that you know when the next video will be coming out. And why don't you head over to systembasketball.podia.com to check out one of our upcoming virtual clinics. Right now, we've been hosting them every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday evenings starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time. I'll put that link in the description for you so that you can come out and check out one of our virtual clinics.